Jamaica is known for being the most innovative CFD company. And actually we have developed a software called Fine Marine, which is fully dedicated to marine and hydrodynamic applications. And so we're here on the uh, America Cup site, and we'll have a few words from the people of the team New Zealand who's been using the tool to prepare for the race. Emirates Team New Zealand is the longest established uh, team in, in the America's Cup. We can sort of trace our roots all the way back to the competition in uh, Fremantle in 87. 15 years ago, all of our testing was either wind tunnel or towing tank, to finally this time making it to a 100% computational type environment. So we looked at a couple of different criteria for selecting um, RAND CFD software and uh, one of the primary reasons why we chose uh, Fine Marine is because of its free surface model and uh, we thought that Fine Marine had the most high fidelity model of the several that we considered and for us in terms of doing hull analysis and hull development that was an important driver particularly in hulls where um, viscous drag tends to be the dominant drag component in the overall drag of the hull. Primarily when you look out there and you see the very fine margins between the boats. First and foremost in our criteria for, for choosing a code is, is the high fidelity model. And obviously in fine marine, the sort of free surface modeling and physics capture is, we feel, the best there is. The interesting developments for us um, during this campaign um, has been really to take yachting from, from two-dimensional to kind of three-dimensional. The really interesting thing, obviously, is we, we've now, using foils to, to lift the boat, we actually have to add that third dimension to all our physical models. We also used uh, Fine Marine to support appendage analysis, primarily uh, boards and rudders. And there we looked at both single phase, meaning water only operation, and we also looked at cavitation effects using Fine Marine. In terms of productivity with, with the software, uh, that's had a huge impact because we now have this whole extra dimension in the data spread. So we have to model not only uh, a range of speeds and headings and trim angles and the like, we now have to model a range of displacements depending on how much of the boat's being picked up by the foil. The important factors for us are just the huge flexibility that the numerical kind of paradigm gives you. Yeah, the second thing is insight. Being able to go into a numerical model and look at where the sources of drag are as opposed to just getting a single finite drag number from a physical test. And then the third thing is um, you know, just the sort of flexibility of the way we work uh, within the group and how that's really fed the process of making progress so quickly.